Welcome! Hey, it's Stiff Competition. This is the internet's only youth football podcast. Uh, I'm Brian Hughes. We are. Uh, I'm, I'm joined by by uh, for at least for a little bit. Uh, he's got a big thing going on at eight o'clock. It's two hours from now. Uh, Cave Man's here. Hi, Cave Man. Hello. This is Dave Dave Caveman, professional Dave. Voice, voice announcer. Oh my God! And welcome to the show. This is, for this is, English, press one. This is somehow the Spanish, most Spanish, the most professional Spanish, Spanish, voices Spanish. makes for the most unprofessional podcasts I've realized, and I'm all Spanish, for Spanish, that. Spanish, 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 Oh, Love of goodness, goodness gracious. Um, well, so we've got week seven action um, all over the dang place. Oh, clean that up. Yeah, it's all over the dang place. We're so gonna go ahead, and we've got our uh, our feature game right now, number nine ranked. Casa de Gordoso Hourly Motel taking on number seven ranked Extreme Dentistry. So, battle of ranked teams here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go around the horn just to see what we got playing here. We've got uh, over there Captain Shuck's Adventure Taxi taking on Taxi's Roadhouse. Taxi, That's, Taxes. Yes, cap, uh, t Taxis versus Taxes. Exactly. Chuck's uh, taxes. Hey, that's me with all my twitch rings. <laughs> uh, over here we've got uh, another ranked team, Francois Crapery, taking on nothing but Borscht Food Truck. Francois Crapery, uh, both those, again, ranked teams. Francois Crapery ranked number 10 going into this week. Uh, nothing but Borscht after losing, dropped from number 3 down to number 6. I mean, so, all these games, all this games just make you want to put some hydrocortisone on your NFL red zone. It really does. I mean, you know, why do you even need, you know, professionals when you have children doing the job of professionals? That sounds like sweatshop labor, but you're wrong. It's youth sports. And, of course, we've got Rancho Robusto, plus-sized warehouse, taking on Burns and Crackle. Mesothelioma Law Firm, the number two team in all of South Tucson. So we got a lot of big, small business action of the Big Small Business Conference, which again can say it now, Conference of Champions. Conference of Champion, because the what Marmalade really Jack, of course, playing later. Why are, in, in more of an existential term, why are we here? Why are we here? Well, I'm here, here because uh, I We're I, here I to watch a giant here. sex pyramid. That's what we're here to see. Is that what this is the pre-show to? Uh, uh, what, a giant, uh, uh, no. <laughs> oh, I was wondering if the sex pyramid was part of your, nothing, your thing going on later. It, I, I will assure you, nothing about either of our streams are erotic. However, no. if I ever get a Patreon account, if I ever am up for that, I would I it would toss around the ideas of playing the games that are too hot for Twitch. Oh God! Yes, there is a uh, there is a particular game uh, which is um, it is how can I describe it without feeling like a nerd? It basically it's highly customizable and uh, there's nudity. Is it uh, is how, Sex however, Pyramid the name of a game? No, that's not the twenty-five thousand dollars Sex Pyramid. That's okay, like the, I was getting really like excited. Two, and I was ready to play the bonus round. That's like the two dollar and fifty cent <laughs> the pile, small mound on the yeah. floor. And, and, and much like the and, and, and much much like the real twenty-five thousand dollars pyramid in the Sex Pyramid, it's better that I give than receive. It's instead of getting your your get your Dick Clark, you get your Clark dicked. Oh. But yes, one of one of the uh, features of said game is uh, you get to design your own sex toys, and huh? Yeah, I get fine German engineering. It's yeah. I I I, I, I foresee this like I don't know. No, I, I foresee it, it being a problem. Yeah. I don't play it anymore. It's got too now. It, <laughs> does um. It does. Will Twitch really ban you if you play that? Are these on a list of banned yes, games? Yes, they will. Ban, they will ban you for nudity. So yes. Okay, so this has to so be I, like. Yeah, this has to be nudity, a private but, account sort of thing, huh? Yeah, this is like this is like total off the grid. Caveman unplugged. This is like OnlyFans. You gotta do an OnlyFans for this. Yeah, I got an OnlyFans, whatever. But uh, watch me toss around a bunch of dicks and make a guy who says. So, are you dating anyone? Exactly. So, so the the fun thing is when you when you said that you can customize sex toys, you can make customizable sex uh, it's, toys. It's, it, 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 uh, we we tested it out, and uh, my girlfriend, uh, my girlfriend, the lady Neanderthal, pretty much said that it was um, it was so overly customizable that it pissed her off. Excellent. Because all I'm thinking is. 
I feel like I feel like the, the, the setting is the setting absolutely by the way extreme dentistry just ran, ran it in uh, nothing but Borscht took it uh, an early lead we're gonna head over to check out Rancho Robusto and Burns and Crackle Burns and Crackle just got a touchdown we're gonna see that one on the replay it's like it was a quarterback keeper <clears throat> on that one we'll see if they as they kick the extra point um, I was picturing like boardroom like all right guys we need a new product <laughs> What do you think, fellas? I got yeah. it. Virtual dildos. Just a bunch of guys with like glasses of scotch and cigars just disguised. You know what it needs? It needs rivets. People bunch, love rivets. It's a bunch of Ruski programmers. God, how'd we get the diddler cup? I thought that was over. <laughs> They're everywhere, you know, man. I, I, you know what? This thing's got voice. It's got custom voice packs. This is, I believe it's got it. Like it's, oh, no. it's got like its own community of like mods and shit. I'm just like looking through this. I I'm appreciate like, that a mod fuck. community can come together to come together. <laughs> Whoa, big, <laughs> big, big, big catch by Mitchell Bates. Speaking of baiting. Um, Anyways, yes. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to go ahead and click off of that game back to our live feed. And yeah, I, uh, yes. trying to hang I, on to I don't. I don't play that anymore. It's, uh, yes. No, that's, that's, that's entirely fair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is you gotta, you gotta, you gotta separate business from leisure, suit Larry. Um, <laughs> you can't have sex with a robot, no matter what they tell you. <laughs> no matter what the robot tells you. <laughs> yes. So, so consent does not work if it's a robot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I don't either, and that's okay. I'm just. I'm it's probably just, just best to keep it safe and just say, you know what, just don't. Just don't have sex I'm just saying it's not what God intended. But no. But it's, it's fine. And nor, nor, have, nor, is it one of the, nor is it nor is it what the lovely people at Philips Magnavox intended either. <laughs> or, the, or the fine Japanese in, in, industrial engineers at Hitachi. But I digress. Why did Hitachi not make hibachis? No. That seems like it's such an easy sell. What, the Hitachi one? Yeah, Hitachi making a hibachi. I feel like that's just such an easy sell. The Hitachi hibachi. hibachi. It just feels like hibachi, that's an easy hibachi. thing to do. You just like pop your cooter up on there and start flooding around some rice and do like an intestine. Yeah. They can even teach you how to do the Onion Volcano. Which, by the way, Onion Volcano would be a great name for a football player. I think I'll give that to the XILF. I believe that's next to the new German uh, restaurant and pizza house, Freudian Slips Red Hot Pizza. Yes! Kind of a joint ownership with. Uh... <laughs> the extra points attempt is good. <laughs> it's like every every item on the menu is just slightly fu is like is slightly inappropriately named. Where it's like you're gonna get it wrong. I like the football sub. I mean, foot long sub. I mean, I'll take yeah. the bimbo pizza. Yeah, exactly. Like that's <laughs> so you you have to order it via Freudian slips. Uh, we got we're tied up here, Casa de Gordoso. Big catch, look at this. Oh! Takes a hit, does the quarterback for Casa de Gordoso. And I forget if, I think that is, uh, if I recall, that is Louisville Sinkhorn, I think is their. Uh, mm. Tonight's games are presented in 3D, if you drink it. Yes, absolutely. Oh, I. I mean, you got your thing later, so I imagine. Yes, I do. You've got you've got a lot of a lot of drinking to get caught up with, I'm sure. Uh, it, well, a, a little bit, but not a whole lot. I'm gonna be. Oh no, I understand. I got work be. tomorrow. <laughs> same. Yeah. Absolutely same, and uh, yeah. <laughs> so um, it's gonna be, it's gonna no. be a fun one. Uh, oh, I can't for wait. The, for for those wondering, it's it's basically my people. Um, yeah, Dios mio. Episode 25, Most Muertes, up to your up tonight on the channel at 8 o'clock, twitch.tv slash Rogan vs. Flair. Our main event, uh, Candy Taker vs. Nerd Burgleton for number one contendership to face uh, Bork Laser uh, sometime in the middle of January, Slimeary 2019. Yes, Slimeary coming up. Yes. We got a dad fight tonight, too. Dad fight? Yeah, Boner. There's a dad fight tonight. Boner Dad versus the debuting Belt Dad. <laughs> I. I mean, I know what Belt Dad is. Is Boner Dad like a repurposed somebody? 
Boner Dad was, I think, on Res uh, uh, Backyard Wrestling No Context. Is the bone uh, like Bone Daddy, but we changed his name to Boner Dad. I like it. He's he's one third of the Cop Killers with uh, Don John the Jacket and uh, Lil Young Venom. He's he's wait with <laughs> he's he's part of the he's part of a gang too. That doesn't sound. Well, it was previously the the, rem the remnants of Aces A Ochos. Gotcha. However, however, uh, uh, mismanagement. Uh, married drunk drunk married uh, El Hijo de Rambo. I remember this. To become Esposa de Rambo, and she formed and she joined the Potato Commission as a result. Wow, <clears throat> that is storylines. Story I don't explain them. <laughs> no, nor are we asking you to. That is entirely <laughs> fine. Yes. <laughs> they just kind of happen. They just kind of happen. Mm -hmm. All the titles. The end of the set, uh, first quarter of the first game. Extreme Dentistry, Casa de Gordoso, battle of ranked teams. Uh, we got two battles between ranked teams here. Extreme Dentistry, Casa de Gordoso, going to be seven apiece at the end of one. Let's head over to our uh, our other game, well, our other game between two ranked opponents. Number six, nothing but Borscht and Francois Crapery. The Borscht up 14 to seven, and looking pretty good so far. Uh, you know, this is this is the nice thing about Southeast on Youth Football. It does you really have no clue which teams are going to be good um, each season. Like our number one team in, and of course they're going to be uh, our feature game in the second second uh, second slate of games. Is uh, it features our number one team, Diddler's Family Restaurant, uh, as they take on who are they playing? Ah, Kathy's Country Cooking. We do not go to the Big Diddle, the Big Diddler Dome. It's an away game. It's a tough one, but the number one team's got to prove they want to keep that number one ranking. And Diddler's looking really good. Burns and Crackle playing right now is number two. Um, Rancho Robusto until they uh, they, they were ranked uh, last week, but they lost and so they uh, fell out of the top ten. Wandering Lush three, Abigail Mays in four. You need a clown. That's a team that we see a lot. They're in fifth. Um, they got a tough game against Hoot Nannies in the uh, late session, and we got nothing but Borscht in sixth. Extreme Dentistry seven. Tremors Pizza in eighth. Casa de Gordoso in ninth, and Francois Crapery in tenth. We're watching Francois Crapery. Tough one here, these two teams, you know, putting up good, uh, both four and two, two and one in conference. So it's gonna, it's gonna start coming down. There's gonna be a lot of children being really sad and crying. And as speaking of sad and crying, what foods do you eat when you're sad and crying? Yes, that, I'm so glad you segued when I was gonna just segue. I'm glad you, I'm glad we're, we're like on a segue tour here. My, my segue ran over your oh, segue, Paul Blur. That's totally fine. Cause uh, that was the thing I was, I wanted to talk about. And I want, I want, I want input from the chat because I'd love to know what you guys think. Is there a food you go to? You're like when you just, when you just feel defeated. Like it's, it's, it's never something you're proud of or happy about. Like maybe it's still tasty, but you're just like, ah oh, hell. I'm, like it's, it's like if you're sitting in the drive-through of the Jack in the Box and you're like, there's two cars in your front of you, and you absolutely have a chance to pull out and just drive along and go on your way before ordering, but you're just kind of like. Fuck, I'm here. Okay. Because, like, for me, I'm doing that tonight. I'm ordering Domino's. I don't... Domino's is my cheap pizza of choice. I, 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 I rank it higher than both Pizza Hut and Papa John's. You could say it's your cheat to eat. It cheat. is my cheat to eat, yeah. I've never had Little Caesars, so I can't tell you if, uh... Oh, God, no, though! No more Little Caesars! I believe you. You're giving me total PTSD for that. I'm sorry. No, I've, I've actually never had Little Caesars, so I have no idea if it's oh, any God. good or it's more like, not. It's more like Little Caesars, because you're just going to convulse on the floor and die. Oh, well, I don't want that then. It's $5. Well, okay. it's, 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 it's $5 for a reason. Well, I mean, like, Domino's, it's like five ninety nine for a thing. Domino's isn't bad, though. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's all right. You know what you're getting. It's not overpriced for what you're getting like Papa John's is. I think it's far better than Pizza Hut. Both of those. Papa John's would probably be second, but the problem with Papa John's for me is that it's always so expensive. Someone and told me like when the when 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 a local sports team wins, you can use a code, and I'm like, okay, I guess that makes sense, but I don't know. I like my Domino's, and that's what it is. But like, I don't feel good when I'm eating it or after. I'm like, ah, oh, I did that. 
Here's the one for me. Please Long tell me. John, one, Long John Silvers. Oh, I have never been to a Long John Silvers. Uh, it's it's an acquired experience. Is it's it? one of those, oh yeah, because I think it's going to be good. It's like the service up there, the one where, uh, the hometown one actually um, uh, went out of business because they never fixed the drive through window. Oh no, not the hometown Long curtain. John Silver. What was, I, oh, wait, huh, what was wrong with the drive through window? It was a curtain. It wasn't a sliding door. And the guy never paid his rent. <laughs> there was a, so. It was a. It was a drive through yeah, curtain. There was no window. Like, there was no you could, window. You could, you could I, go at 4 a.m. and just wander in and climb through the curtain and help yourself to some Long John Silvers if you wanted. Probably. Or are they 24 hours? So it didn't matter. No, no they were certainly not 24 hours. <laughs> no, it, okay. it, was, it was one of those, like, because I'm going there and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to get some half-decent service, and it's like, it it ranges and it ranges anywhere from average to oh god. Sure. Now I again me me an uneducated man does not really know what you can get at Long John Silver. So I'm pulling up okay. the menu right now to look. What is your what is your order at Long John Silver? My my order is as follows. It is either um a an entire chicken breast which is deep fried. Yeah. I, okay. Covered, exactly. covered exactly. in crunchy breading. Uh, te crunchy tempura style breading. However, highly greasy. Um, also, the fish, which is in the same batter. Of course. Yes, the little crispy, crunchy, the, what's called the crunchy stuff falls off of there, and that's the stuff you can eat like small pork rinds. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. Now, is it a the, combo? The, yeah. The fries have a weird smell of Pepto Bismol. I, I can never, but they're like crispy fries, so that's they're very strange. Yeah, they're not that great. And then you get hush puppies with that, which is basically like breadcrumbs and sea, uh, which is like a giant ball of bread, basically. Okay, so is it, is it like a... Is, it, is and like again, a, that, sorry? And that's also deep fried. What was the last bit? And it's also deep fried. Of course. Oh, I definitely know what hush puppies are. So this is... And now is is the now do you get are you going get two combos um, or do you get is it like a is it like a, a mixed platter kind of thing? It's like the fish and chicken combo, and it's usually pretty expensive. Like you're you're paying about on average like seven or eight or eight bucks for a meal. Gotcha. Okay. And that's... it's like and I buy it because we don't have one around here. It's like the, the neighboring state away, pretty much. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay, I'm just I'm looking through. Some minutes away there. Yeah, I'm looking through the I'm looking through the menu, and I'm seeing like it's weird because they have a list of combos, they have a list of meals, and then platters, and then platters, and I'm not I'm not sure what each, I'm, I'm actually gonna learn the difference here now. So let's see, big catch and a flag by Rancho Robusto after getting after the game tying up. That is that is roughing the passer as well. Okay, combos are everything you want in one delicious meal. Whether it's our blah 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 blah, there's not. each combo includes your Still choice of down. a homestyle side, two hush puppies, and a drink. Okay, that's that's that. That's combos, meals, and then take two sides like, and two hush puppies. Okay, and take a take take a corn on the cob and cut it like just down the center, and that's what they they, they give you. It's like it's still on the cob. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah. Two sides and two hush puppies are for the platters. Okay, so the platters seem to be just a little bit of like mixing and matching. I'm going to look at these sides now. There's also family meals, which, again, let's let's take eight. Pieces. For a family meal for seventy dollars, you can feel feel you can you know feed your entire family of eight. And my my parents have done that previously in the past, and I gotta say, you're eating chicken and fish for like the next five days. Fair enough. I mean, I see they have a list for tacos. The get, Baja fish tacos. You can get two yes. tacos. That sounds. Yes. Um, I got one for free, and I gotta say, uh, you overpaid. Uh, no, no, I yeah, I definitely overpaid for free. Yeah. Uh, let's just say some. Uh, there was a security breach. Oh God. I I need to read the list of how they describe tacos on the Long John Silver's menu. Two of our batter fried fish fillets or chicken in parentheses, wrapped in warm soft tortillas, make you say, "Hola, Long John Silver's." I appreciate them using the upside down exclamation point to start the sentence and the one at the at the end, but really, that's all they came up with was it makes you say hello restaurant I'm currently in. 
I see sandwiches, a cod sandwich, which is... Oh, no. I see the classic fish sandwich, and I see the cod sandwich, but cod is in all caps, which concerns me that maybe it stands for something. Yeah, Cage it stands of death. for clam, clams on death. Oh, okay. Uh, now oh, yeah, they get clam. I forgot the clam strips, yeah. So side options are creamy coleslaw, uh, signature creamy hush puppy. So when it asks for two... Brian, I feel like clean, uh, creamy coleslaw and clam strips. I'm like, I'm thinking strip club or long john. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god, that is really, that's it, isn't it? The, the ten dollar prime rib is, uh, I mean, it can only be divided by itself and rib. So I'm seeing <laughs> savory rice, which looks like white rice with bits of carrot in it, hand cut onion rings, seasoned green beans, which look like they came right out of the can, natural cut fries, sweet kernel corn, and signature hush puppies on the coleslaw. So I feel like now this is like, this is like what the fuck kind of punt was that? <laughs> I've had this out to some punt. It, it happens. Okay, okay, fine, fine. So what I'm used to seeing now, and this is this is this is me being trained from the cookout menu, is that you can do something like like the triple quesadilla there. You can get a platter which gives you two sides and two hush puppies, and your sides can be signature hush puppies signature. and signature hush puppies. So you can go triple hush puppy on your side. You could just might as well just kill yourself. That's like a death. That's like you death might, row. Yeah, you might you might as well just like eat a bunch of a raw cornmeal and jump in a deep fryer at that point. Um, I'm I'm still scrolling through the menu. I'm intrigued. I see kids meals. I see desserts. Boy, I don't know what that is, but I want to know. I see baked meals, so they do have a health conscious option. Okay, I see. Okay, the kids menus. The kids menus. What it is a smaller version of your meal. That's fine. Uh, desserts. Yes. That is Just exactly what I thought it was. A deep fried foul, Twinkie. Roughing the passer. Defense. Oh, and by the way, I should also uh, also let you know the uh, the the Long John Silvers. The majority of them all, all hook on to uh, an A and W, which is basically a shittier, a much shittier version of McDonald's that's stuck, that's trapped in the 1950s. Yeah, I was gonna say like A and W. I've seen them, but I don't think I've ever like get, it bothered sucks. to look I at a menu it. from them. It sucks. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can always get like the. Um, you can always get the baked meals and get some baked shrimp or some baked cod in two different flavors, sweet and zesty Asian or creamy garlic butter. These do not make it sound any healthier, but no. all right. Uh, that one Canadian zebra saying a and is actually better in Canada. I just go for the root beer. I'm not fucking kidding. I feel like I've seen more A&Ws in Canada, so please. The root beer is better, but it's I mean. fine, it's yeah. Whatever. I like Stewart's root beer, but I mean, like, my problem is I, I, I'm a diet soda drinker, and so I have trouble finding a diet root beer that isn't gross. Like, I go with no! a... No! Let's talk about sodas and how depressing they are. Yes, depressing sodas. Okay. You ever, you ever been to a Rocket Fizz, buddy? Uh, is that the place that does, like, is that like the... I think the eccentric so. sodas? What's that? The eccentric sodas, the I ones think that, so. the I ones think that I have will, seen the, that. Yeah. the ones that are our, our friend, the Snack Society uh, review, because I well, I have. Yeah. sometimes they have to endure punishment. Oh, do they do it? Do they do that for punishment purposes? Well, no, no, no. There's a couple of very um, uh, interesting flavors that we, that's that we've uh, come across. I don't doubt it. <laughs> I think uh, I've been there, to one of these. A, I think I've been to one of these places in New Jersey, by the way. There's a there's a ranch flavored soda. I have heard of this. There's a grass clippings flavored soda. There yep. is alien vomit. Um, what? There is, now, now, in what way do you know what that tastes like? I am not going to taste what. I haven't figured it out. I'm just looking at what's on the labels. Well, but like here's the thing: alien vomit. That means you had to do a focus group. Where some guy had an extraterrestrial experience, an encounter of one, two, or three kinds, and then reported back and said, "You know what? You need to. You know what's amazing though? When that alien vomited on me in my mouth." Yeah. Well, the uh, the experience Delicious. was a little different for me. Uh, I was locking out there with my my clap trap and my mud flap. <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, I don't know why you would bother alien vomit as... A, why? So, I, I, I'm familiar with this place. It does the weird sodas. Isn't it also kind of like a candy store place, or is that... No, I think yes. Okay, so they do, like, weird yes, candies they, and stuff. 
Yes, they do like Japanese candies. Yes. Um, like they do uh, imported stuff in. Um, I got to experience the Scottish What's drink Iron Brew. Oh, Iron Brew is all right. You, 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 no. It's 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 too sweet. It's the, for my taste. it's the quinine that kills me. Is it really quinine in it? Yes, there's quinine in it. So I don't remember that. Look at that. Oh damn, Cassidy Gordoso, kick into the house, 59 yards. Hell of a catch there. Glad we went back to that game. Um, oh yes. But uh, so I had it in I had it in Scotland. Um, I mean, I thought it was far too sweet. It 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 wasn't anything I loved. But I know people who fucking love it. It's the, it's the, I believe, the number one soft drink in all of Scotland. It competes it is. with Coke. It's Iron Brew. <clears throat> Tell me about the fucking Iron Brew! <laughs> ah! But what about the Mad Scotsman? <laughs> exactly, yeah, you get some Iron Brew! Um, yeah, Have no, I, I, Iron Brew is, Iron Brew is, is strange. It's like neon orange, and I'm not sure. I, I don't think Ginger Pimpernel is in the chat right now. It might be too late. No, if, if we, we've had conversations about it. I've had, I've had that with Craig. Yeah, too. exactly. Yeah, hey, there you go. Yeah. But um, I was like, uh, more, more power to you. I'll take uh, the artificial. I'll take uh, the artificial. Someone in the chat is asking your your thoughts of Wendy's. I know that that's harkening back to your one uh, drive through yes. incident. Uh, let's I like let's Wendy's, just, though. Let's just say I tipped Faye Jackson with a free Frosty Key Tech one time. You absolutely did. Yes, um, I did. And that was amazing. Uh, I, was I actually had I actually had an an, an, uh, an unhappy drive-through Wendy's incident recently. Um, so uh, I, I, as I mention every once in a while on my on my main Twitter, uh, I, I have a side hustle where I work uh, as a casino dealer for a company that like rents out the equipment for like parties. So they're like char charity events, not as a real casino, but like. So it's a lot of hol holiday parties now, and I worked one last night, um, and uh, I worked one uh, two weeks ago, so the weekend before Thanksgiving, and it was not too far. It was over by, like, uh, Tyson's Corner Mall area, so, like, about 20 minutes, 30 minutes away for me. I'm picturing, like, you and a bunch of mafia bosses and Russians are, like, inside of a storage unit. Yeah, exactly. Like, playing poker and, like, some props, like, a suitcase on the table. You're like, well, I'll, oh, my suitcase. I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, I had a I, – I, last night's party, I had a – I helped with the uh, breakdown and setup. And I got to tell you, that makes you feel more like you're doing something illegal when you're, like, moving all this stuff through the kitchen of, like, the – of, like, this Marriott or this Renaissance Hotel's. Nice. Like their catering hall kitchen to the loading dock Ace and man. loading it onto a U-Haul, and it's like it def and you're all wearing you're all still wearing like tuxedo shirts and black pants and it's just like this feels weird. Still first down. It's like Billy Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> get out of my casino. Get into my car. Get into the car. Performing <laughs> uh, <laughs> tonight with the Car Caribbean Queen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Caribbean stud queen if it's a casino company. Um, but uh, so I went to Wendy's because I was because these these things are like they're like holiday parties so they happen they like they start at like they go from like seven to ten thirty or something like that so it's like prime dinner time for me so I'm totally missing dinner and then it yeah. gives me an excuse to do something like go to McDonald's or hit get something from a drive-thru on the way back and I'm like you know what I'll just go to Wendy's I'll get like I'll get some nuggets. I'll get like a small fry. I'll get something small, so I won't really feel that. Now, if you have, if you are an astute commercial watcher, you're aware that Wendy's right now is doing one dollar any size fries. I was peer pressured at 11 p.m. by some drive-through dude to not get the small fry, but because it's a dollar, to just get the large fry. It's only a, we can dip a size it for a dollar. It's the it's exact same price, and and I'm I'm tired. I want to go home. I just want my nuggets, and I'm like, fine. I'll just eat a handful of fries. I'll just throw them away or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? Fine. It's easier to not fight with this guy. I'm just gonna say, okay, sure. I'll I'll, I'll have the large fry then. Just keep just eat eat the amount for a small, and then give the exactly. rest. Exactly. Yeah. So like yeah, and then throw the rest back in the window like it's a soft drink, um, and I'm an asshole keen on YouTube. Uh, so like I get my two two things of two five piece nuggets, and and my fries, and I, I go on my merry way. Um, and that son of a bitch. <laughs> what did he do? 
Uh, so, one, the fries were really, really salty, and I was like, oh, fucking hell. They okay. are. I they, burned. We're really proud of our sea salt. <laughs> I somehow burned the back of my throat on a French fry. What? Now, burning the roof of your mouth is not a pleasant experience. Burning your tongue, also not fun. Burning yeah. your roof of your mouth, probably worse. But, oh, like, yes. I, I grabbed one of the longer fries, and I'm like, okay, cool. And I just chomped out on it. And, like, I'm, I'm not thinking anything. I'm like, okay, just put it, you know, you know, the way you eat a fry, you don't really, like, savor the fry. You just eat it. Whatever. I'm starving. I don't think anything of it. And, like, it doesn't process that this is a really hot fry until I'm already, like, in mid-swallow. And then, oh. ah! Oh, it's worse I, I had a drink like... of some, I had a water, so, like, I was at least able to, like, try to, like, help myself out. But, like, now I'm like, okay, I have a sore throat, but not because I'm sick of any reason. Ugh. It was not pleasant in any way. It's like way. when you eat, like, a baked potato and it's, like, still really hot. And it's, like, yep. hot going down your esophagus. Yes. And, it, yeah. and it's like that, like, you're eating, like, it's just down your throat and into your stomach. Just it's what you imagine heartburn to worst. be. When, they, when, when you hear the word heartburn, if you don't know what heartburn is, that's what you think it is. So that Bad. son of a bitch upsold me on the fries for no extra cash. And then scalded my throat. I'm gonna punch him right in the, in the jaw next time I see him. Punch him right in the cooter. Yeah, right. Dorset. Good thing I'm not gonna be seeing him at that Wendy's anytime soon. Excuse me, bitch. <laughs> so okay, so back on the back on the term of like sad foods, you're oh god, I you know half of the KFC menu. Half of the KFC menu. I will say I don't say that about Taco Bell. Taco Bell for me is like you know what I fucking feel like Taco Bell. Chat, you please tell me what is your go for. What is your go-to sad foods? I want to hear about it. My go-to sad food on Taco Bell. Uh, the condiments. Oh yeah. <laughs> I yeah. eat nothing on this goddamn. <laughs> I refuse to. I refuse to accept Taco Bell as sad food. I think it's. I think it's more drunk food than anything else. I think it's like it's 3 a.m. Fuck it. Yes. Yeah. I, have a I don't have any problem with Taco Bell. Like I miss the border bowls where it was like a bowl of like rice and beans and like the nacho tortilla strips for some reason um and like cheese and a meat and salsa and it was good gain of three yards someone is saying uh uh denny's after the bar denny's that's good that is really denny's good after hours you better be with a bunch of people or else you're yes. or else you're definitely like you're having a sad time even though fred yehi tried to kill me once yes in a denny's yes I, had um, a, I have a, I have a known peanut allergy, and he ordered an entire stack of fucking peanut butter pancakes. Oh I'm my like, god, that's right. I'm like, oh shit. Oh god, yeah. Uh, Denny's, you know what? I feel like if you're if you're in a Denny's and you're at a table with less than six people, then then decisions were made that were not in your best interest. Um, yes. Like Denny's is like the okay, we're all we're all gonna go out there and we're all gonna piss them off. Denny's milkshakes. Oh, that's a specific order. Okay, a whole dang box of cookies for Sajo and Mo. Uh, let me know what type of cookies. My second sad food is eating poutine at a local restaurant. See, I, for me, that's a delicacy because I don't get to go to Canada too often. Mm. In fact, I've only been once. I was in Calgary, and I got poutine every damn night I was there. Oh, wonderful. Oh, sad food. Sad food? Yeah. Cinnabon, but it can't be. Like, it has to be at, oh. like, a kiosk or, like, a gas station or, like, a rest stop. Oh, I mean, I don't know any other places the Cinnabon exists, like a mall food court I don't, I don't, or an I don't airport. Know just, I don't know if there's like an independent Cinnabon dealer or something. To be like fair, that. I thought that about Chick-fil-A for the longest time until I realized that freestanding Chick-fil-A's were a thing. Because remember, back up up north when I'm from, where I'm from, it was just like mall food courts. Yeah. Chick-fil-A was not as prevalent up by me. Uh, I will say, uh, if I am in, if I am sitting in a Chinese buffet, mistakes have been made. But I'm 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 just going with it, you know. <laughs> eh. It's one of those you're craving Asian food, but at the same time you want to watch it. You don't want to buy you know high amounts of sushi. Yes, like. you want to just like get a little of everything exactly. And I'm gonna and yeah. I'm gonna all I'm gonna eat all I can eat. Like that is no doubt happening. Like all you can eat is 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 a direct order. And I have I have a strategy. I feel like buffet strategy is a discussion for another time. IHOP is good. IHOP, IHOP is definitely. I never feel good at an IHOP. 
IHOP is good, but you gotta be in a certain hour and you can never order... You have to order breakfast every single time. Yeah, that's the problem. I, I'm not a fan of IHOP. Ooh, Casa de Gordoso taking the lead with four to go. IHOP's mashed potatoes are the goddamn worst. I mean, a lot of IHOP. I, I feel like if you're straying away from breakfast, it's like... It's like, uh... It's you, bad. At your own risk. It's bad. It's the water Go to sad food is ice cream out of the tub. I am too upset to get a damn bowl. Hell, you were lucky I had motivation to get a spoon. That is, that is well put, yeah, JTP. Yeah, that's right, that's right. A large quantity of ice cream, that's fair. Yeah, yeah it's, I get it's not, that. It's not when you gotta watch your stories. No, I get that. Like, I, I was very upset. I went to the, I went to the store, I went shopping today, and I was planning on replenishing ice cream, and like, I always will hope for the Ben & Jerry's sale. Because for me, a pint of Ben & Jerry's, if it's on sale, is worth it more so than like, the store brand larger thing of ice cream, because Ben & Jerry's just so fucking good, and I, I have enough self-control to not eat half the thing or more in one sitting mm. but uh they were not on sale and so i had to go with uh, i had to go with an alternative and i don't feel bad about it but i was just like damn it ben and jerry's you charge too much for your damn ice cream automatic first down so you can go around the scores for a second as all these games are in the fourth quarter wait we still have football on yes we do oh absolutely yeah <laughs> this is welcome to stiff competition this is what we do you know, we, we try to ignore the fact these kids are getting concussed horribly. Um, Rancho Robusto up by seven with the football with four to go on. That's a potential upset upset alert. Number two team in South Tucson. Oh, Brooms and Krakow just forced the third and nine. We'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, blowout here in a ranked game. Uh, ranked versus ranked. Nothing but Borscht up by three touchdowns. They got pinned back to a, 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 a punt deep in their own. Uh, they're going to take that punt from their end zone. We'll see how this goes. This is probably not going to go well for nothing but Borscht. Let's just stick with it. Hmm. Uh, it's going to go. Yep, it's going to keep. It's going to immediately put Francois Crapery in the red zone. Um, they are on the 14-yard line. That punt, that punt maybe went... <laughs> Maybe went right, 20 yards. Right off the old side of the foot. Then. Maybe went 20 yards. That is a coffin a corner punt bit. to the wrong coffin corner. Uh, so that looks like that's going to be a well in hand. Nothing but Borsch going to go. going to bounce back with a win. Uh, move up from their sixth ranking. Uh, as we head over to a one score game over here. Uh, Taxes Roadhouse. Four point game with the lead on Captain Chuck's Adventure Taxi. Taxes Roadhouse. We're in the ranking, in the top 10. They got dropped after a loss, trying to bounce back here. But we're gonna stick with our feature game for the moment. Which is Francois, uh, sorry, Extreme Dentistry. And Casa de Gordoso, number nine versus number seven. Uh, I'll, tell you the I'll tell you the saddest one I ever had. The saddest meal I ever had. Oh, right? do tell me. All right. I need to know this why it was sad this too. Is one, this is the one where I almost got injured. Here's, oh. okay. That, so that here's here's the story, right? So it, it's Easter Sunday, and girlfriend and I are driving around, and we mm -hmm. stop at this little place um, about what was it like about 30 minutes away, something like that. Okay. The place called the Old Mill Grill, and it's like you know, very rustic, good charm to it. I'm like, okay, cool. So they tell the us man. like, okay, our server called out today on Easter Sunday. I was like, okay, whatever. So we start, we order the food. And I get the brisket. And the girlfriend gets this chicken, I believe if it's called chicken paella, which uh, is like uh, chicken, rice, vegetables. Oh, paella, yeah. Paella is delicious. Yeah. I, it's a bold uh, apparently, decision. Apparently it was not. Apparently it was very hurried. It was like it was now, like a Noor's rice and pasta packet <laughs> version of chicken paella. So, so paella is like a Spanish dish. And that's what I was saying. That's a bold decision to order that at a place called the Old Mill, where I imagine the I imagine the waitress is probably uh, elderly and calls you honey or darling. No, it was it was it was some guy who probably didn't know what the hell was going on. Oh, fair enough. Okay, different. The, the chef was Cuban. That's why he was ordered. Oh, all right. That's oh, why you got. The, I'm, that's why I got the pie. So I got my brisket here, and it's tasting pretty. Uh, yeah. Uh, We'll leave it at that. I mean, it's it's edible. I'm digging around in there in my fries. There's a giant six-inch wood screw in the middle of my food. A wood screw? Dead serious. A wood screw in the middle of my food. 
and I throw my fork down on the ground. Uh, not on the ground, but on the table. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm upset, but I'm like, I don't want to cause a scene here because, right. like, come on, this, like, seriously, how the hell did this get in my food? So I flank down the waiter, I was like, excuse me, sir, and I hold up the spoon, and I go, what's this doing in my food? And he's like, uh, um, uh, 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 don't, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, your food's free, your food's free. I'm like, okay, no shit, your, my food's free. You yeah. tried to kill me. And then, he, and then wow. he's like, then he's trying to tell me the origin of how potentially the screw got there. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. There's the screw in my food. How it got there is not relevant. I, I it think, should not I think, be yeah. there in the first place. If, if there's anything I'd like to know less about, it's... I don't know what the hell goes on back there or what kind of rodents you got messing around. Right. But whatever's out here... It doesn't matter, as long as the food's delicious and I don't feel, don't feel like shit afterwards, or you don't try to kill me with a hospital visit. And I'm just like, okay, so then he's just like standing there like a little awkward, and he's like, Did you want to see the de do you want to see the dessert menu? I'm like, fuck no! Absolutely not. You fucking tried to kill me! Why do I want dessert? Give me a meal, give me a meal. What a kind of battery acid bullshit you got in there! Jesus, that's, that's... Not so he okay. le so he leaves and I look at my girlfriend and I go, shall we? It was the it's the first and only time I have left a restaurant without tipping somebody. That's and fair, yeah. No, you got to That is absolutely fair. I'm just like, and I'm just, I I called the, the, I called the county health department <laughs> like the oh day after. I was like, yeah, no, that's, I was that's like, I was like, yeah, you need to look into this. I go, I talked to someone else, talked to my one of my uh, coworkers I was working with at the time. And she's like, yeah, look up his name on the, uh, like, the, the county police uh, database or something like that. Because, like, it's all public record and stuff. And, like, this guy's got, like, problems for, like, not paying his employee taxes, not paying his county and state taxes. Oh, yeah, and he's okay. like, okay. I get it. This is happening. But a screw in someone else's food is probably the least of his worries. That's, that's no, point. that's not okay. Like... It's I not okay. I joke around about that, but like, nah, nope, no. I don't know what the hell happened there, but no. They dropped the, They dropped a screw in the brisket. They dropped the screw in the brisket. Eagle One, this is Snake Five. They have dropped the screw in the brisket. I repeat, they dropped the screw in the brisket. I watched a um. I watched a. I, I've been watching some. I've been watching Double Dare. Uh, I, well, I've been DVRing it to watch it. I gotta and, say, uh, your your Muay Thai shit you post on Twitter is fucking hysterical. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, that's gonna be more of a weekly thing. Um, <laughs> but like, yeah, they had Keenan and Kel as like special guests on each side of the team of Double Dare, and I was like, oh, this is cute. Um, and um, <clears throat> they made him do the line, and I was like, this is this is cute. I like this. Um, but yeah, it's like, oh, okay, nuh-uh, not okay at all. So I, this reminds me of, uh, this is not anywhere close to that. I, uh, I had a, um, once found a dental strip in a Baconator. Wow! Whoa! That's that's the teethinator. That's what they sell in yeah. some of the food. That's what they sell in some of the food food trucks here in South Tucson. By the way, Gordosa with a pretty nice touch. Yeah, goodness. By the by the way, uh, yeah. By the way, uh, that's a final score. Rancher Robusta with the upset, 28-21, over Burns and Crackle. Picked off Casa de Gordoso may have just iced this game. Done. Personal foul. It's over. Basement. Might be. Well, they still got timeouts, so they might have to get the first down anyway. Uh, looking at a final score. Still first down. Taxes Roadhouse, 31 to 20. Big win there over. <laughs> over Captain Chuck's Adventure Taxi. Taxes Roadhouse, they will improve to five and two. Captain Chuck's lose their first conference game. And we're watch. we're sticking with this one right now. As uh, Francois Crapery may try to make a comeback here. 
They're trying to put it up there, but uh, nothing but Borsch are gonna are gonna ice this one out. They got the football up by seven, less than uh, under eight, uh, close to uh, under a minute fifteen to go. We're gonna stick with this one as Casa de Gordoso. Hold this one out. Yeah, when I was a kid, I went to a Chick-fil-A, and I, I used to always order my drinks with no ice. And I found, like, the part of, like, the soda fountain came off into my drink. Ew! Yeah. So that was a thing. Uh. And that's going to be at Casa de Gordoso. Mi casa es with... tu casa. Yep, they got the big win there. Horseshoe Springfield, their quarterback. Getting the getting the victory for them. They'll move up in the rankings, no doubt. As we're watching the end of nothing but Borscht and Francois Crapery. So close. Extreme dentistry. Not enough though. And Borscht will get a touchdown to ice this game. They could have just With ran ice. it out. <laughs> they decided With to be ice dicks. With ice and part of the part of the fountain. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. And uh, we got a game going over. We got two games going to overtime, by the way, in our first okay. session. We'll keep an eye on those as well. <laughs> as we go ahead and go to our uh, our second game, already kicking off here. Just one right after the other. They already trotting trotting down the other teams on there. There's a oh, dude yeah, doing push-ups with two girls, two girls on there. That's like some weird fen down porn. Yeah. Which you can find in that link on my Patreon channel. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. <laughs> so it's too hot for Twitch. <laughs> no. So we're looking at Holy Balls uh, playing Septic Tanks foul. for Jesus. Face mask. Uh, in a big uh, Bible division battle in the American Freedoms Conference. Automatic first As we're It's a holy our, uh, bibble battle. Sorry? It's a holy bibble battle. It is a holy bibble battle. Can't call it the holy war. Someone else has already taken that name. As we get our, uh, we're gonna get to our feature game in just a second. Kathy's Country Cooking, hosting the number one team in South Tucson, Diddler's Family Restaurant, trying to put the big upset on the big diddle. Uh, as you see, there's already been a touchdown in one of our other games. Let's go to it. You need a clown taking on Hootenanny's Country Western Day Get Care. You need a clown, ranked team. Uh, only ranked team out of the CSC, which is the uh, the best conference in football here right now in South Tucson. And let's see how they can respond, Hootenannies. <laughs> Meanwhile, our other game about to kick off in just a second is a big rivalry game featuring another ranked team. Oh, sorry, no, it was a team that actually dropped out of the rankings uh, after their first, suffering their first loss. The Mulch Hut taking on defending champions, the Marmalade Shack. Let's take you to the kickoff of that one. Mm. Rivalries abound in that one. These are two teams that just do not like each other. Demarcus Robinson, the first, with the 19 yard return for the Mulch Hut. Five and Rhino, one, looking Rhino, to get a big win. Uh, Ryan, uh, as much as I would love to stick around. No, by all means. Certainly I would. I have to start cooking dinner. Do it. You already started it? She already started it. Best girlfriend ever! Yes! Thank you. I love go you. Go home if you need to. She's like, go play with Brian. I was like, okay. All right, let me drop my pants. No, wait. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> hey, hey, no, oh. hey, hey. That's that's not my kind of playing house. No, no playing house in that house. Nope. No, 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 no. Meanwhile, we're going to head back over to You Need a Clown and Hoot Nannies. Uh, before we head over to our featured game in this, Hoot Nannies already behind early to the number five team in South Tucson. You Need a Clown and former, uh, former South Tucson youth football Never champion. mind with Hoot Nannies that half the staff has died of dysentery. Oh, absolutely. I mean, which, by the, which, by the way, let's talk Oregon Trail here. Please. <laughs> okay. I was loving the game. There's the, the best way to play Oregon Trail is what I like to call ex-girlfriend Oregon Trail. <laughs> okay. It's where uh, you you set up you set up a uh, you set up your party with all of your exes. The objective is to make it to Oregon, but all of your exes die along the way. 
So just yourself has to survive. Just yourself. Like, I always thought, I always found that great part, like, fording the river, which is basically, oh, we're not going to waste any time. We're just going to run our wagon and cattle directly through this very large river. Yeah. And, like, the last river, the, I think it's, like, the last or second last river in the game is, like, you've come across, like, the Snake Valley River. It's, like, a mile and a half wide. It's, uh, like, 30 feet deep. You can still ford the river. Of course. <laughs> of course. And it fails like 100% of the time. It's just like... <laughs> now, is that the one where, is that the one where you're actually like... doing a little mini game where you're, where you're kind of, uh, you're navigating the river, like, with the, with the, with the arrow buttons? That's, that's the last one. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's the last the, one. That's, that's the, if that's the MIDI Windows 3.1 version, then I think I recall that. But the the old school Apple II, uh, I don't I don't know. Right. Yeah, I got you. Yes. But the fun part about the the Windows uh, 3.1 version was uh, you could export the journal, and you could make text additions into said journal, which led to some hilarity. Oh no. Uh huh. <laughs> Yes. I like I like Sajoa Mo's idea of making it basically into the Survivor series. Yes. Because LOL Hogan wins and is the sole survivor. Yes. That's kind of brilliant. So so what we basically need to do is run have like four different people run like four different copies of Oregon Trail at the same time. Oh my god, I, I'm not I'm oh. not against this. Oh hey. <laughs> Oh, I think we're on to something. Some simulcast, like, survive oh, Oregon simul Trail Survivor Series. I love it. A little, uh, little beard simulcast here. Okay. Okay. We beard might be, we might be able to, like, a beard simulcast. Yeah, because it's like, it's pretty much, it runs on autoplay pretty much, unless something horrible happens and you have to make a decision. Exactly, yeah. I think we could, I think we can get some people to do it. Yeah, why not? This, this could be attained. This, could be, this could be done. And then if one party dies, we just X that out and just bring it to the next one. Okay. I think we're onto something. <laughs> By George, I think we've got it. I, th I think this is, how, this, is how, this is this is how we attain high quality monetized content in 2018. You know, it just it just takes a little bit. It just takes a little bit of brainstorming. This is like. We're, we're, the only the only the only thing missing is we haven't done the cigars and scotch businessman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, was one of my favorite. This was. Now, um, what about that sex pyramid? <laughs> exactly. Now back to the sex pyramid. Back to that Can sex I climb this pyramid? I need this guy to have a dick, and he's got to be quapping all over the goddamn place because there's no collection detection. <laughs> now here's the game. It's quap but sex. <laughs> <laughs> I would play the shit out of that game. It's Gmod, but with a dildo. I would love to play the quad but sex. <laughs> um, so one of the fun things um, when I've um, when I've done um, when, I, when I when I was in improv in college, uh, we would do the Harold, and, and I know you're familiar with the Harold. And anyone who's done him, uh, anyone who's done who's done who's familiar with improv knows what the Harold is. It's kind of a, a series of scenes that kind of it's where you, it's where you tuck your butt cheeks kind of together. Oh, yes. Wait, Sorry, that's a different that's no that, that's a different Harold. Um, that's a different Harold. But anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, parts of the there are parts of the Harold called the group game, um, which are like little palate cleanser silliness. You have basically in the Harold you take three scenes or three kind of storylines and you kind of move them through. Uh, three different beats and sometimes the final beat is like all three scenes kind of have to come together sometimes you just don't do it that way it depends on how you feel like doing it but in between the first second and third act is what's called a group game which is kind of like just an everyone it's an all skate kind of everyone play be silly sort of game it's just like it's more like a silly kind of palette cleanser and so one of the ones that always seemed to come up in like practice when I was at Georgetown we did the improv we would practice the Herald was the boardroom because, like, you know, improv, yes, and it's the boardroom of ideas. And nice. someone would just hold the, fi the fi fake cigar and just go, yeah, yeah, all right, we're going to do that. And it was just a bunch of, like, cranky businessmen smoking, just coming up with ideas. And that's what I always pictured for yeah, these so things. we'll call it Whisker Biscuits. Yes. Whisker, we're call it Whisker Biscuits. Exactly. We're calling it Whisker Biscuits. <laughs> There's characters created based on Snapchat filters, unfortunately. <laughs> 
already been the name's been taken. Because uh, that's just my actual face, they will never go on Twitter. We're gonna go ahead and check out that uh Hootenanny's in the red zone. And they're gonna move it in. Ray Darius Oakland, eight yard touchdown. And they scored there. So we're gonna head back to our feature game. Kathy's moving downfield down to the 30. Kathy's country cooking. Taking on the number one team in all of South Tucson. Up by a field goal. Diddler's standing the restaurant. Oh, they didn't they didn't get hung up on the handoff. But Sergio Hobbs. Oh no, they've got the backup QB in there. I don't know what happened to Kathy's QB, but they got the backup, the big boy quarterback in there. That's not good. Perhaps the screw is in. The screw is in the tuna. Just might be. So I am looking through the options at Domino's. And, oh, you know what? Yeah, okay. I didn't realize this was an option. I didn't realize I could get... Yeah, I didn't realize I could get... Uh, didn't realize they had sweet mango habanero wings. Got to do them. Their wings aren't bad. They're, they're, they're acceptable. They're entirely serviceable. Uh, <laughs> Domino's was a staple when I traveled in my brief job at the hotel, staying at hotels. Yeah, that's fair. It, Domino's I, is also a um, a um, <clears throat> it was a college one because like the Domino's the Domino's would always have um, would always have deals that they would send to the uh, they would flyer Georgetown's campus and that was always like our go to you know deals. Hmm. So yeah, that's what we would do. Uh, are these not part of the deal? What? Specialty chicken, eight-piece boneless chicken. Oh, the wings are not. Well, you know what? Whatever. That's fine. They're chicken nuggets. Boneless wings are nuggets. I know. I'm just reading what they're telling me. Influence me otherwise. Yeah, right. Convince me otherwise. Convince uh, me otherwise. Yes. There we go. Okay, well that's acceptable. I can go ahead and yeah, it's like okay, so I can't use the 5.99 deal. So instead, there's 6.99. Oh no, not gonna do it then. Oh well. Oh no. So Joe Mo has written Oregon Trail poetry as the genius. <clears throat> I'll have to try this one. Fighting hunger and traveling far, five WWF superstars, including I, the genius of glory and renown. But when we tried to ford the river. Oh, but when we tried to ford the river, through my body went a shiver, as I, the genius, sadly went and drowned. I missed your- I didn't realize your rhyme scheme. I fucked that up and I apologize. That's very good. I just- I didn't realize your rhyme scheme was A, A, B, C, C, D. He didn't- he didn't get to Fort Laramie in time. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> but that, that, that's brilliant, think, Jomo. Thank there's you. A, there's a parody of it where it's like one of the places like John Larroquette's house, so it's Fort Larroquette. Oh my god. I, I yeah! love this. Yeah! <laughs> John Larrick. Four groups of car, fifth groups. Yep, four guys, in cigar, four guys with cigars. Yeah, brilliant idea. Yeah, brilliant idea. Oh, we need a clown already. Uh, this is this might be a game to watch. You need a clown, and Hootenannies are just going. This one's getting all stupid. Touchdown clowns. Timmy Brink. The Did genius actually break? drowned in my sim, so I had to write a poem. Beautiful. I love it. Man. You need a clown. Speaking of the sims, I... Up. Sorry, is that speaking of what now? Speaking of the sims, I feel, like, defeated, because I had, like, all of those, like, mods and stuff downloaded for that game. One of my all-time favorite mods when we did, uh, Topcock and Dumb Enough was the crate of throwing axes that legitimately killed somebody. <laughs> Wait, was there a crate of throwing axes in Topcock? I don't remember that. Well, not in Topcock, but there was in Dumb Enough when I did... Oh, Dumb uh, Enough, the, sorry, yeah. The first season, yeah. I'm kind of surprised that that's what killed people. Usually it's stupidity. Well, there's very various other reasons, but this was a mod where, like, there's an object in the game where it's like an axe throwing... Uh, hmm. Axe throwing at a target, but someone modified it so you throw axes and it's like you get stuck right in the person's head and they're dead. <laughs> and I always thought it was so great and stupid. Like, if we did a murder mystery with that, <laughs> oh my god, that would be fantastic. 
Like, put like eight random people in the chat and be like, that might do. I think we're on. We're making high quality content then. Like, eight, eight person axe handle mystery. I, I love this. Yeah. It's like dinner theater without dinner. Who asked you? Should be, oh my god. <laughs> Who asked? Asked me a question. <laughs> Yeah, who asked you? Yeah, let me do like let me bring this, bring some subs <clears> in. Subtitle: Where did my nuts go? Was the intended receiver on the play? <laughs> Subtitle: That'll make Where did my nuts go? Yeah, do do it like total mafia style. Like I just indicate you are the murderer, and then you gotta like hide the details if the murderer survives. Yeah. And I actually kind of like that. Vault shot, crock steak, the running back, <laughs> running it in to to tie it up. Gonna take the lead. With the extra point, I like it. We got some. We got a game going, getting all stupid. We got, we got the, we got South Tucson's answer to the Big Twelve, Hoot Nannies and Union Clown. By the way, so I, I, I don't hide the fact that I am, I am not, I am not an NFL, NFL fan, but I do love college football. And as, uh, as Nash's Torn Quad would always put it, I'm a college football atheist because I don't have a team. So I get to watch whatever's fun, and usually that means the Big Twelve. And I, the, the podcast I listen to, which, which very much is. I, I try to I try to take some notes from it. Uh, the shutdown full cast. They uh, they talked about how everyone was up in arms about this Rams Chiefs game that just went crazy. Yeah. And they're just like, oh my god, it was so great. And it's like we're like, yeah. I mean, in college you can watch that every week if you want. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, <laughs> we got it every week. It's pretty great. It's called the Big Twelve. They do stupid things all the time. Just crazy amounts of points. Yeah, it's like it's like yeah, I know because they were they were totally expecting all like the old salt NFL fans to be like, oh, what's all this no defense thing? What's what's it? What's this grumbling AFL stuff? I thought we I thought we stuffed out the arena league. And that's fine because you know what we have the Big Ten for that as well. The, yeah, three yards and a cloud of dust is what I want. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you run the football. If you throw the football, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> that's a line that someone honestly told me. And I'm like, do you really mean that? Yes. Because I don't think you really mean that. But uh, you might, because you're a Big Ten fan. <clears throat> the Oklahoma-West Virginia game was ridiculous. It was fantastic. Uh, I sadly had to listen to most of it. Um, similarly with Texas-Oklahoma, I was just out and about. But, like... I love that I oh my god the LSU A&M game I fell asleep woke up and it was still going on I passed out missed the fact that it went to overtime and woke up in overtime hell and it was amazing I'm gonna watch this play from uh, Union Clown and go back to our feature game where our diddlers are right on the 20 about to go oh god they're taken to the house never mind Union Clown is gonna score a touchdown no they're not oh just pulled down with a flag for a face mask. Oh, nice. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what Diddlers are going to do with 47 seconds left in the half. Still first down. Diddler. I also love the Oklahoma um, West Virginia game because it, it brought my attention to. Um, <clears throat> A Big 12 thing, which is the horns down, which is a um, doing the hook 'em horns thing, but but upside down, it's like an anti-Texas thing, and I just find that hunt, I find that hilarious. <laughs> silly even. It's silly and it's just wonderful. Some other bullshit. Where Billy Jack Haynes insists on being part of it. You know, I love it because like Oregon Trail Survivor Series is also like you're taking over the territories. Quite literally. Yeah. You're trading with the natives and trying to defend the NWA title. Yeah, really are. There's a touchdown yeah. from Holy Balls, making it 13 to nothing over septic tanks for Jesus. What was that? Uh, 
Uh, I believe there were some 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 uh, reprimands or possibly penalties for the uh, horns down thing. To which I say, okay, cool, fuck him. Um, hook him, Dano. Yeah. <laughs> so 52 seconds to go in the half. Holy balls. Such a tank jig G Jesus. Holy septic. Yes, holy septic indeed. Holy septic. And it looks like the mulch have taken the lead again, 14 to 13 over Marmalade Shack. Marmalade Shack rushing down the field. Uh, with 50 seconds to go in that game, in that half. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Hootenanny still proceeding to run down the field. Wow, they just got a nice big catch. Ray Darius Oakland. They are now in the. They're now inside the five. Couple of teams about ready to score. And go ahead and go back to this one. See what happens here. Oh, yep, yeah, that's going to be a touchdown just in time. Hootenanny's putting the hurt on number five. You need a clown. This one might get even crazier in the second half. Take a look at the big rivalry game between the Mulch Hut and the Marmalade Shack. The Mulch and the Shack. Yep, they are. They're fierce rivals. The Mulch Shake. The Mulch Shack, exactly. The Mulch Shake. The Mulch Shake sounds either delicious or terrible. I can't decide. Let's see what the Marmalade Shack can do. Will they get the touchdown? Take the lead. Going into the half. Oh! Look up. Wicked deflection, Jimmy Dean sausage. Speaking of, speaking of shacks, let's discuss why Radio Shack went out of business. I got insider reasons. I would love to hear that. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I like Radio gonna, Shack. I got a good Radio pivot for this discussion. That. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I, I worked for Radio Shack for about this? six months when I lived in New Tennessee. And uh, I got to say, uh, they pay their employees uh, base plus commission. The base, okay. is, the base is minimum wage. Sure. It's just not fit the bills. Um, the thing is, is that if you're in a highly populated area and you're getting a lot of people coming in and you're making sales, yeah, you can make a half decent living. Sure. But most times it's dead as fuck. Like I think, like the only time I crack like the ten, uh, the over ten dollar an hour rate. And I was keeping in mind I was working part time and I didn't really know anybody or really did any kind of networking stuff was uh, around the holiday season. I was like, okay, that was good. But like most times, like $7.25. Um, now, now, Brian, if I sell you like a pretty decent, really cool laptop or yeah. like like a laptop or computer and it's like 600, 500, 600, 800 dollars, something like that, how much commission do you think I get off of that? So, okay, the total price is 500, 600, like anywhere from like 500 to 800 dollars. Okay. Um, I'll sh I'll shortcut it for you. Yeah, I don't I actually don't know like what commissions usually are on sales. Basically, Radio Shack paid on commission paid on paid on very small amounts of commissions on. Oh no no uh, yeah, yeah I understand I understand how the system works. Yeah. I just don't know what a typical run of the mill like commission would be. I would say like, I mean, if you're making minimum wage, maybe like five ten percent. None. None. Five hundred, five hundred dollar computer, zero commission. What do you have to ring to get a commission? Uh, service plans, parts and accessories, and cell phones were the only three to pay. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, I am not surprised they're out of business. And their especially, stuff was overpriced. Especially when the internet exists. Yes, I'm um, not paying. I'm not paying. Dish wall of Pearson. Sorry. Dish wall of Pearson. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I. He's gonna tell yeah. you all his thoughts on God, and he's gonna take. He's gonna put uh, 11 points between them and the number one team in South Tucson. There you go. Oh yeah, but yeah, if you sell batteries, you get commission on. That's like you've got to sell like over a certain dollar amount per hour. Oh, that's, it's this. That's, that's I was, I was earning more, working full time at like, working for a retail pharmacy. Than working part time at radio. <clears throat> yeah, that's crazy. That's 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 ludicrous. There's there's a reason why that's they're not out just of ludicrous. It. That's exhibit. So uh, the only Radio Shack known left in there is like somewhere in Alaska or something. Yeah, I don't even know where another one would be. Like, I girlfriend is completely the done. It, it just makes me think of like all the other like stuff like that. Like, I think of Circuit City. Ugh. Like, talk about and, and, like and, and, talk about losing and, and, the best. Talk about losing the Best Buy battle, like Circuit City and Comp USA. 
before like computer makers realized we could just do this shit ourselves. I'm honestly shocked Best Buy still exists. Yeah. To a reasonable degree, I think, but... Like, I don't know what Best Buys sell that I couldn't just get on the internet. Probably, like, cell phones or something like I that. I guess, yeah. But, like, that's, even that, I would probably... I, yeah, I guess as an option to go not to go back to the, uh... <clears throat> to not have to go like back to, like, yeah, to go to, like, the actual, uh, dealer or the, the carrier. And some God. people will still want to pay $70 a month for a flip phone that do, only does down. voice. My dad is getting a flip phone. Cause they still make flip phones. Flip phone. He's had the flip phone for the longest freaking time. My dad has no need for a smartphone. He just wants to make phone calls. He wants. See, honestly, Enough. like, so he and my mom would would kind of share the cell phone. My mom would have it most of the time. My mom just got a smartphone finally. Um, and shocker, after denying needing it, she loves it. Um, <clears throat> but she uses it for basic. She doesn't use it like for a ton of stuff, but she uses it for the basic needs. Um, my dad has now finally accepted the fact that he will need a flip phone just so he has a phone on him in case of emergency you can't you know it, it's like one of those like he had an instance where he on his like he's retired but he has like a part-time job um he's a crossing guard at like the high school you know it's, yeah. it's extra cash and someone he needed to call 911 for someone and he had to go and ask somebody to use their phone and it's like yeah this is when you should have your own phone yes that was like the convincer. Oh, what a horse collar tackle on Jakari Haynes who gets the first down for Diddlers. About nice. time they are pushing into the end zone soon. I'm sorry, you're saying. Yeah, good, good, uh, yeah, good clothesline. Oh, yeah, absolutely clothesline. No, it's like I've resigned myself to the fa I've surrendered to the fact that if I get my parents anything technological, I have to set it up. One, I have to set it up, and yep. two, I have to teach them how to use it. My mom with her laptop. She's getting the hang of it, but man, is she. Mm. Yeah. Every time they come, every time they visit, or I'm up there, I'm like, I gotta see your laptop. I gotta make sure you're not like, like there was something we were doing Black Friday shopping. Uh, <clears throat> the only way you can do it online, as as I refuse to acknowledge any sort of Black Friday in person things. Um, go ahead and check over out. Uh, you need a clown and hoot nannies because you need uh, hoot nannies up by two touchdowns, but you need a clown are in the red zone. Um, Speaking of computers, let me tell you about the $300 Mas Madagascar long distance bill. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, please. My God. <laughs> okay, so for those too young to remember, back in my day, we had dial-up. Dial-up yeah. was basically a phone call to a very large server that lets you get on the internet. So it's a phone call. So if you, if you are at one location, if you make a long distance call to another server, it counts as a long distance call on your phone bill. It does. Okay, so keep that so keep that importantly in mind. Uh, so dialing in, and we had the shitty rural 56k dial-up, right? So it would disconnect. So um, at the time, the internet was not as safe as what it was before when it came to, when it came to certain things that you wanted to look at on the internet. Most of which are now a dildo creation simulator. But I digress. Uh, so I knew of these things, and I knew that they would doubt that they would download these dialers that would uh, dial into like an offshore location or server to get you back on, quote unquote, get you back online, or some private server, or whatever evil nonsense would happen to your computer. So I'm in college at the time, and my mom calls me, and she's like. Have you been making a $300 long distance phone call to Madagascar? And I'm going, no. Did you ask dad? Dad says no. She's like, I was like, okay. I think I know what happened here. <laughs> Caveman, please make the dial up sound. <laughs> Bumpy bump bump bumpy bumpy bump bumpy bump 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 It was always fun to put your friends' numbers into the AOL dial-up. Face mask. Defense. You're like, hey, buddy. 
Uh, hello? <laughs> Welcome. You got mail. That was like connected. It's like, okay. I had was, the, was, I had the AOLs. About, what, was, what was bad about the dial-up was that, like, we only had one phone line, so if someone was somewhat online, we never got any phone calls during uh -huh. that time. And it dis and it like disconnected constantly. Like I got oh like God. I got I was trying to take my SATs. Like I took it twice actually. The first time I got like a bad stomach ache or something and just couldn't, didn't want to take it. Just felt miserable. Right. And I was I was at said location trying to call home, and Dad was apparently on the internet for like five hours straight. And I was there for like two hours trying to go home. I was like, I can't contact them. It was like, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. It was, what was worse was that the high speed internet at college, I was like, yeah, this is great. But they got like security protocols, so you can't download anything from LimeWire. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, they actually started getting wise to that. Like, we were all right. Like, we, were, we, were in, we were in the clear. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna just like download my movie and wait, oh, I don't know, two weeks for this to download. Sure. <laughs> right. Two weeks on 56k modem. No, thank you. <laughs> we are heading you into kids, the fourth You quarter. kids have it too. You kids have it too easy. Oh god, no. I honestly, I don't think I could do. In, I don't think I could do college when Wikipedia exists. This is back in the days of the Yahoo chat room. Okay, let me tell you about that shit. Right. Mm hmm. All right. You kids these days. I don't know if you actually you kids do this. I'm really showing my age here as, as the as the white hairs in my beard start to extend. You know how difficult it was to send a dick pic back in the day. <laughs> Nowadays it's fucking and done. No, 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 no. Back in the days of the Yahoo chat room, was like, I want to see a picture of your dick. I'm like, you don't know how easy it was. You don't know how <laughs> easy you have it. Here's, here's the process. Let me get to my, be a creep online to somebody. Let me drop my pants, get my off brand digital camera, turn it on, take a picture, make sure the lighting is good. Make sure that all of all three or five megapixels of this image is of good shape and of jurisdiction <laughs> of the cave dick. Then hook up said camera to the computer, download the file off of the card. I'm looking at, a, it is an uncomfortably long time to be looking at your own <laughs> penis. Um, I'm gonna go for Yorkshireman on you on here say, LUXURY! <laughs> I had to buy a disposable camera, take a shot, <laughs> then hopefully use up the rest of the camera on something, Hope that no one in the Walgreens was gonna judge me. Pick up the photos, get the scanner. I've had strip club photos. I've had to process. I bet. True story. Oh, I've had. I've had. I've. Uh, yeah. One of my friends has talked about. Yeah, working in photo. Uh, I forget at what uh, what sort of store, but doing the photo uh, development is just like. Yep, you get all sorts of fun stuff. Yep. <clears throat> I had to give a chick a floppy disk of my floppy. Oh, mwah, mwah. oh that, that was the old, that was the much older uh, digital cameras that took the floppy disks as their storage device. Yeah, I gotta say though, there's nothing, there's nothing prouder than seeing, <laughs> seeing the likeness of your penis on a dot matrix printer. <laughs> It's like, oh, let me, let me, let me, and you can have the option circumcised or uncircumcised. You just peel the sides off. Is where you is where you tear the paper hole strips on the side. Yeah, that's, I was trying to think of how to make that joke too, and you you got it. It's like, oh, look, my dick. <laughs> here's my dick in ASCII form. Here we go. That's pretty good. <laughs> One line at a time. <laughs> there you have it. Black and white and all pixelated and shit. Yeah, it's already pixelated. It's like a, it's like a, it looks like a giant white blob out there. Like, where's the contrast in this? It's already, it's already pixelated. You already. I don't know if that's my dick or a map of Italy. I don't know what is it is. 
Looks like the Florida Panhandle. What I is hope this? it's Italy or else that person needs to go to a hospital. <laughs> oh my god. Your kid's got it too easy. No doubt. We're going to go ahead and check I in tell you. on our second oh, game, on uh, one of our other games. Marmalade check taking the lead. Mulch hut just, not, just knocking on the door of the red zone. <laughs> Also, holy balls and septic tanks for Jesus, tied at 17. Brian, I hate to leave you, but I gotta go By eat. By all means, and go, go, go eat and set up. Thank you for joining me for this. This was a blast. Uh, hey, you are yeah. welcome anytime we're doing Defense. it. Sure. Because, uh, like, the conversation goes to literally anything. I think it's just kind of fun to do that. So, you know. That's still first that is right up my anus. <laughs> yeah, this is, ew. Um, <laughs> well, your anus has a ring around it, so, you know. <laughs> All right, and then please, and we'll be hosting, of course, uh, the thing on eight o'clock. Definitely go check it out. You know where to go. Watch Dios it. Mio. Yeah, it's on twitchtv versus player. Definitely watch it. Yep, uh, if, you're, if you're listening, if you're listening to this on YouTube, then go over to his uh, YouTube channel and watch it because it'll probably be up there too. Because you've missed Last it now. Last episodes of Dios Mio are archived on the Twitch channel and also at YouTube.com/hvfhighlights. Yeah. Yeah. Because if someone's listening, if someone's listening to, the, to this broadcast on YouTube. Mulchot going for two and getting it. Look at that. Very nice. But if you're listening to this on uh, on YouTube, on YouTube, that means that you're not going to watch it live, so you got to go but watch yeah, it. But, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, you can always go back and watch it. Man. Exactly. Same same with all of our stuff here. We put it all up on the channel and all the links yeah. and everything like that, so enjoy that. Thank you for joining me. Go get set up. Do what you got to do. All right. And you're you're welcome to come by. Or I will. Uh, yeah, I think I'll I think I'll uh, I'll, I'll give my voice a, a rest. I'll I'll start eating my pizza first, and then I will uh, I will I will pop on. But I will be watching from the beginning. All right. Excellent. All right. Thank All you. right. Take it easy. Eight o'clock. Twitch.tv slash Hogan versus Flair. Dios mio. Episode twenty five. Most muertes. We'll see you then. Let's be honest. You're not gonna miss that. You need to watch that. His anus has dial up. I don't even want to know what that. Could be referring to, or how that happens. It's like that picture I saw with the dude. It's, okay, there is a picture I saw of me. It is a guy with a with the receive an old school like phone receiver in his ass. Just trust me on it, and it just says, "Oh, you didn't know." And you can make the joke from that, and it's gross and it's funny as hell. And I will not make you all look at it because I don't know where to find it, and I'm okay with that. That brings up fourth and three. But we are, uh, <clears throat> I want to hear from you. Um, you know, we never really talked about uh, Blockbuster, obviously, not around anymore. I want, t tell me about Tell me about any sort of stores, like store chains or brands, or, uh, brands of stores that are just not around anymore that you kind of miss. Like Roy Rogers as a, as a food place. Only see I only see them in the uh, in the in like the food in the rest stops now, and I don't think I could tell you what Roy Rogers tastes like at least not in this century. Um, but uh, you know they've been relegated just to that. I feel like Burger King may be going the way of that too, um, but I'm not really sure. I feel like no one really goes to Burger King anymore. I don't see Burger King anymore. But you know, we'll see. Loss of two on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Anyway, uh, yeah. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Forty seven right. Forty seven right. Right. The Number eighty eight was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. But, uh, you know, Bennigan's being gone. Yeah, Bennigan's. I've actually never eaten at a Bennigan's. I think I've eaten at a steak and ale. Which I don't know if that's also a chain. I have to check now. Is steak and ale... Steak and ale was a chain. Founded in 1966, they filed for bankruptcy. Oh my god, they came back? Early 2017? What? The planned revival. It's also owned by Ponderosa Steakhouse. Okay, I can I can never tell 
if the steak and ale was um, was actually a chain or not, or if it was just something local in my like the local equivalent of uh, of um, the local equivalent of the um, of like Bennigan's, like they try to do their own thing. Little Caesars are still around though. That's the thing. By the way, Marmalade Shack taking a one point lead in this big, big rivalry game. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go to our live game for a second. The upset is alive. The number one team in South Tucson has been beaten by Kathy's Country Cooking. 21 to 14. What a game for Kathy's. They will improve to, what's their record? That's gonna, um, uh, they're gonna improve to five and two. Diddlers dropped to five and two. Both teams will be three and one in the Gluttony League, so that's gonna be a huge, huge thing. Oh, the hot and ready, hot and ready. Yeah, the hot and ready, uh, I've still never had a I was Little Caesars pizza. I have no idea about pizza pizza. Um, man, steak and ale. I don't remember a single thing about it. Um, makes me think of this place uh, that was in, I, in the neighborhood I live in. Um, it was called the Orleans House, and it looked like you walked into like a 1980s Bennigan's or Steak and Ale. Um, and uh, we're going to see, oh my god! Oh! The mulch shot! Touchdown! Offside. With 22 Defense. seconds to go! Defense is offside, they're going to decline that penalty and take the touchdown. touchdown. Mulch shot! Oh my god, this, what a game! Holy hell! They're gonna go for two, it looks like. Make it a seven point game. And it's gonna be, oh, there's a flag on it. Was it caught? I don't think it was caught. Personal foul. Roughing the, Roughing the passer. Defense. Damn, so they're gonna try that again. We're gonna go ahead and, and, and check out what's going on. Oh my god, we got a tie in. Back to return. Uh, Septic Tanks for Jesus just tied this game up as well. Marmalade Shack gonna take that back. We're gonna keep an eye on that one as well. Holy Balls and Septic Tanks for Jesus tied at 24. Marmalade Shack, we're gonna go ahead and go back over to that one for a second. Got to go the distance of the field. Need a touchdown to tie it up and force overtime. Oh, thrown, no good. The intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. <clears throat> this will be it. Holy balls, by the way. Starting on their own 48. You need a clown down by ten. That's not going to look good there. Let's head over to. This game, first and 10. They're on the 40, holy balls. Tied at 24, can they get a big win over a really good Septic Tanks for Jesus team? Oh, they're gonna catch it! And a flag stops the clock. First down inside the 10. Roughing the passer, defense. Last chance for the Marmalade Shack. They're gonna have to air it out. This is the last play of the game. And it's no good. Hey, and you need a clown, man. It is blood week here. You need a clown have just been defeated. <laughs> wow. So we are uh, we are looking at a lot of teams. getting dropped here. I want to see what's happening. Okay, so Diddlers, the number one team lost, the number two team lost, Wandering Lush, number three team. Wilkins is deep to return. Where did the Wandering Lush play? They played earlier. They lost. Abigail Mays, you need a clown lost. Abigail Mays, fourth ranked team. They lost, so one through five all lost. The Borscht truck beat Francois Crapery. 
Extreme Dentistry lost to Casa de Gordoso and Tremors Pizza. Did they at least get a win? There's a flag on the field. They lost. Foul. Face mask. Defense. So the only two teams that won from the rankings are the number six and the number nine team, and they also beat ranked opponents. Every every game with a ranked team in it had a ranked team losing. Wow, eight out of ten teams in the top ten lost. This was Blood Week. Week seven was Blood Week. Septic tanks for Jesus airing it out, had it in the end zone, dropped it. Oh my God. What a game. Well, that's going to do it for us. That's the end of the game. The final score is 27 24. Wow. Well, that is going to do it for us. It has been stiff competition. The Internet's only youth football podcast. This will be up tomorrow for you to watch if you missed any of it. If you want to hear the discussions again, we'll see you next week for more stiff competition. Until then, I'm Brian Hughes. Thanks for watching, and stay loose. Don't be stiff. Don't be stiff. I like that. We're going to go with don't be stiff.